Hi, I'm Simon Bradbury from Firefly Studios, and I'm here to talk about Stronghold 3 and the first series of developer diaries. Welcome to Stronghold 3, my dears. So it's been 10 years since the first Stronghold, and we're very proud to introduce on the 10th anniversary Stronghold 3. Stronghold is a game about castle building. You build castles, you run a medieval economy, and you raise armies. You take those armies and you defend your castle, or you go and attack someone else's. It's a fairly unique game in the strategy genre, in that it's an RTS, very much a, a base builder, a defender. And I think, at the moment, it's the only castle building game out there. We've had a lot of feedback um, from Stronghold fans about what they want to see in Stronghold 3. The biggest item is make it more like Stronghold 1 in lots of ways. Uh, go back to the core gameplay there and that's what we're going to do. Stronghold 3 will be a little bit simpler than Stronghold 2, a little bit closer to Stronghold 1. Gone are some of the more complex systems, and in their place are the things that work really well from 1 and 2, and some new ideas coming into 3. We learned a great lesson with, with Stronghold 2, which is not to try and make your own 3D engine. With Stronghold 3, we've got a, a brand new engine, which is bringing in three new elements into the game. Uh, great lighting, physics, and a whole new way of being able to build your castle. So Stronghold 3 uh, picks up where Stronghold 1 left off story-wise. Um, in Stronghold 1, the wolf died, or did he? In fact, no, he's alive. He fell down a tower, landed on some rocks, but was taken away and healed in the far off land. And he's back. He's worse than he was before. He's more psychotic. He's bitter, he's twisted, and he wants revenge. The player is charged with defending the kingdom. He's thrown into disarray as the wolf evilly attacks at night, quickly overrunning the countryside, and puts the, the forces of good on the back foot. So you as the player have to retreat and wage guerrilla warfare and raise an army until you're strong enough to strike back. This is the first of a, a series of developer diaries, and I think coming up we're going to be talking about physics and how that makes castles exciting, um, nighttime sieges and lighting, multiplayer. Um, we're going to be talking a little bit about gameplay in general and new units, and then probably further down the line, talk about what, you know, where we are when we're close to release and, uh, and how, you know, how things are progressing. <laughs>